सोनर ऑब्जेक्टिव टू लर्न द बेसिक फिजिक्स ऑफ सोनर सोनर इज अ टेक्निक दैट यूज इज साउंड प्रोपोगेशन टू नेविगेट कम्युनिकेट विद और डिटेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट यूजली अंडर वॉटर द वर्ड सोनर कम्स फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट लेटर्स ऑफ द वर्ड साउंड नेविगेशन एंड रेंजिंग देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ सोनर एक्टिव सोनर एंड पैसिव सोनर Active sonar involves both the transmission of the sound pulses and receiving the echo of the transmitted sound. Since the speed of sound is constant and fast in water, the distance or depth of an object is found by measuring the time it takes for the sound waves to return after having been transmitted. When sound travels through water and strikes a submerged object, it reflects back. The distance of a submerged object can be calculated by dividing the time taken by the sound waves divided by 2 into speed of the sound. Sound travels about 1500 meters per second through water. Consider sound waves returning after 4 seconds. The sound wave takes 2 seconds to travel towards the object and 2 more seconds to reflect back. Since the sound travels about 1500 meters per second the total distance traveled will be 1500 meters times 4 seconds is equal to 6000 meters that is the sound traveled 3000 meters and reflected back the depth or distance of the object from the source of the sound is 6000 over 2 which equals 3000 meters Active sonar can be deployed by helicopters mounted in buoys or on boats. Passive sonar involves listening to the sounds given off by targets. Passive sonar can only indicate the direction in which an object is located but not its distance. Ships and submarines use passive sonar to locate other ships and submarines. summary sonar is an acronym for sound navigation and ranging it works on the principle that sound travels quickly with constant speed in water active sonar is used for locating submerged objects and to find the depth of an object passive sonar is used to find the direction of an object